Hello everyone, welcome to another video of uh, Little War Game. Uh, today I'm bringing you something special. We're going to go over the patch notes instead of actually watching a game. Um, Little War Game recently released patch uh, 4.8.1. We're on uh, 4.8.1, uh, but it's called 4.8 in the patch notes here. They released this on October 4th, 2000 uh, 22 and today it is October 5th 2022 um, I'm pretty much gonna start from the bottom of the uh, the patch notes because they have some some basic information uh, and then they have some really juicy uh, juicy information with this uh, with basically this worker nerf um, but it's not exactly a nerf and I'll, I'll explain how that works in just a little bit um, so starting from the bottom, they have some quality of life changes. Um, they added uh, they added attack speed uh, of the units in the stat box, as well as armor penetration in the stat box. Uh, and then they did a couple of other things. Um, one of the other things they did was they made frame rate more consistent for uh, lower quality PCs, which is fantastic. This is already like a fantastic running game on any computer. Um, so the fact that they even made it uh, better is is um, is incredible. And um, credit to um, Khaled, it looks like. I believe I'm saying your name correct. If I'm not, I, I apologize. But honor to, honor to you for, for making that better. Um, they increased or they improved some performance things. And then again, appreciate... Khaled for your work, uh, and then they also fixed some um, some stuff uh, to do with with basically how the g game runs, some background things. Um, I'll let you take a look at those if if that interests you. They're in the patch notes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take on these three things first. Uh, this uh, it, this is pretty much a patch on little uh, little chat game. Uh, it's a little update, so. Uh, on the little word game lobby here, and I'll show it to you, um, you're able to play uh, this game called Little Chat Game, uh, where essentially you kind of like draft units and you set them against uh, your opponent. And this is kind of just talking about that. Uh, they added new emotes for the Gatling Gun, Raider, and Gyrocraft, uh, and you can unlock that with gold. Um, each of the emotes can be used uh in little chat game uh, and then they also explain how you can do that and then they fixed a bug where uh, the screen would go black after the uh, little chat game werewolf would smash um, and so that would kind of cause the little war game little chat game to like semi crash right uh, if the screen is going black you'd have to refresh and then you you wouldn't know who won the game right because it would refresh the game and that information would be lost in the refresh so they fix that all right here is the juicy bit of information that got re got released with this uh with this patch um just to do some quick review uh since this has the most to do with the worker i'm going to quickly review what happened to the worker in uh, patch 4.7 uh, if you want uh, more information on uh, patch 4.7, it's it's still uh, pretty much the patch we're on. The only change is that the worker got um, got slightly slightly adjusted, slightly tuned, I would say. So if you if you kind of want a more in depth discussion of of even the patch that we're currently on, going to my previous video where where I talk about uh, 4.7. Uh, is still um, is still valid. It's still good information. So what happened in patch 4.7 is they changed the re uh, worker repair uh, rate um, and they reduced it. it. It used to be 12.5 and they reduced it to 9. Um, the reason they did it is because multiple workers repairing a single mechanical unit would often uh, repair faster than small forces of en enemy units. Um, and this would make mechanical units pretty much invulnerable um, and uh, pretty much impossible to defeat, especially if your opponent was going for a two base all-in uh, with like 
four catapults and five Gatling guns. It was really hard to hold. Um, so they did some stuff to kind of uh, adjust that. So what they did is they purely, purely um, nerfed the worker repair. Uh, and what they did in this uh, in this change or in this balance is they slightly adjusted it. So um, what happened is they're, they're introducing a repair and effect field uh, in the editor for units. Uh, and it's going to be used to determine how uh, inefficient each subsequent worker is at uh, repairing after the first. So pretty this sentence, if I was to read it, it's it's really complicated. Um, but essentially what happens is every additional worker that repairs something is slightly worse at repairing. Uh, so that's why there, it's, it's called repair inefficiency field. Okay, so workers have a default repair inefficiency value of 0 0.25 or 25%. A repair inefficiency value means that each additional worker will repair 25% slower than the previous one while using the same gold per second as normal. So this is this is the crutch of, of the whole the whole thing. Um, and then they increase the worker repair uh, from uh, 9 repair uh, per second uh, to 12. So instead of it being 12.5, it's, it's 12 now, which is not, you know, not that big of a deal. Uh, they slightly buffed repair, but they also slightly nerfed it. So uh, let's kind of do some let's kind of do some math to try to figure out what exactly is happening. So before this patch, if two workers were to repair a catapult, every second they would repair a catapult, they would repair it nine times two because there's two workers and each worker repairs nine uh, HP. Per, per second, essentially. So they would essentially be doing uh, 18 health return. They would essentially be repairing 18 health per second if there's two workers. Now what's happening is the, the base repair is increased from 9 to 12. So if there's two workers repairing something, they're going to do 12... Um, they're going to do 12 HP times 2, so 24, except the second worker is going to be uh, re repairing 25% slower, so they're going to be repairing 25% less. So 25% of 12 is 3, so uh, 12 minus 3 is 9. So essentially what you're going to have is one worker repairing 12 and the second worker repairing 9, and that's going to, uh, that's going to be a repair rate of 21 which is greater than 18. So uh, it's it's slightly above. Um, but again, if you get a third worker, um, that's that's when the nerf starts coming. And I believe, um, I'm not exactly sure how it stacks yet. Uh, maybe they'll clarify that. Maybe it might also take some testing to figure that out as well. Um, for instance, if you get a third worker in there, I don't know if it's gonna be 25% of nine uh, or if it's going to be 25%, like an additional 25% of 12. Um, so I don't know if the third uh, worker will be repairing six or like roughly seven and a half. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to, to figure out, to kind of test for. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and we'll find that out. It ultimately, it doesn't matter. Um, quite as much you can just basically say that mass repair is less efficient than what it was uh, and it's still going to cost you the same amount as if they were all uh, repairing the same amount so i'm going to go ahead and dive into their reasoning uh, so this change improves repairing with one worker back to patch 4.6 levels but makes uh, repairing a unit with multiple workers slower and more expensive which is true the intended impact is that sending weak units back to be repaired will still be strong, but using many workers in a fight at once to repair will be costly. Makes sense. Um, that's absolutely right. I, I think this achieves that result a lot better uh, than what uh, patch 4.7 was trying to do with their um, reduction to 9. 
Um, it definitely made repair worse, but um, three points of repair is not the biggest deal. And I, I'll, I'll kind of explain uh, why uh, in just a second, actually, um, right now. So I have this um, I have this kind of game queued up in editor. And uh, I just kind of want to show off some things and kind of explain some things as well. Um, so we're talking about repair rate. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and make a house so I can make some additional units. But let's talk about repair rate. So as we can see, the catapult has 240 health, uh, which is a large amount of health. Um, and the archer here has... 160 health so you know health in the hundreds basically um, and their damage and this is this is an aspect of little war game as a whole their damage is relatively low compared to the amount of health um, that units have so the archer does 12 points of damage and the archer attacks once every uh, about 1.5 seconds so one and a half seconds um, so that means that in three seconds, the archer will do 25 or 24 uh, damage to something. Um, and as we can see, the the, uh, the catapult has 2400 health. Um, so it would take 30 seconds, about 30 seconds for this archer uh, by himself to kill a catapult. Um, and, you know, 30 seconds is a long time. Um, so long yeah it's gonna be a long time and uh, that's just one of the aspects of this game uh, obviously you're gonna want more archers so that you can do more damage um, so that you can kill things faster uh, but why this is important is because the worker uh, can repair things pretty quickly um, and can basically make um, you know damage from an archer uh, almost you know uh, inconsequential right uh, which is fine because you know I believe a catapult is supposed to be like six supply uh, actually I can look that up uh, it's three supply and an archer is two so okay makes sense you're you're sacrificing supply you're also sacrificing um, about 30 more gold for uh, your 34 30 gold and a supply um, to get a catapult okay so it makes sense gotcha so that's kind of how this works, right? Um, we also have to take uh, into consideration that the catapult has armor, so it's blocking two physical damage from every attack that uh, it takes incoming. So instead of the archers doing 12 damage, they actually do 10 damage against the catapult. And now we know that archers or workers repair uh, 12 uh, HP for mechanical units every second so essentially if uh, an archer uh, if one archer attacks a catapult a single uh, a single worker will be able to pretty much overheal it um, and and match the healing and, and overheal it as well because it heals t 12 points of damage per second and the archer does 12 points of damage every one and a half seconds um, so the worker will be will be absolutely fine at uh, dealing with that. Um, one thing I wanted to figure out was how much um, how many archers would it take to kind of like kill um, a, a gatling or a catapult uh, at that ratio. And as we can see, it's it's about two um, with one archer repairing it, and we'll find out. Um, I did some testing that it takes about four archers to kill a, a catapult if there are uh, two workers repairing it. So obviously, um, essentially for every uh, worker that's repairing a, a catapult, uh, you're going to want two archers to kind of uh, over outmatch the repair. Uh, I will say this though, that, uh, that now the worker repair is buffed. The more archers you have attacking something, uh, the less efficient the the repair is going to be, and that's the effect. That's the effect, which is you know, it's desired. So that's good. Um, 
something I will notice is that uh, we are now able to see the attack speed of these units. Um, we're able to calculate that. We're able to essentially calculate their um, their strength uh, and their attack power um, uh, based off this attack speed. So now we know that for every three seconds, the the archer does twenty four damage, and so we can kind of like calculate what do we need in order to like kill one of these guys, right? Additionally, we also have this armor penetration stat. Um, this tells us how much um, how much armor uh, a unit gets to ignore. So in the description there, it says this unit ignores up to five armor when attacking. And what armor does is it reduces the incoming physical damage by its armor rating. So the catapult has armor two, so it reduces incoming physical damage by two. Um, so if a Gatling gun were to attack a catapult, it would normally do uh, 11 because it's 13 minus 2. But because it has armor penetration, it ignores the catapult's armor and it's able to do its full attack uh, attack value. So that's, that's how that works. Uh, and those are where those stats are located, the attack speed and the armor penetration. Um, yeah, so we now know that four archers is what it takes to heal or to outmatch two workers of damage. Um, the reason why this is important is because most uh, two base um, all-ins essentially have, I would say, around four catapults and like five Gatling guns with about six to eight workers with them. And so now you can you can understand better how to designate your defenses in order to be able to uh, overcome the worker's repair. Additionally, um, a strat you could use is to actually attack uh, attack the workers that are repairing uh, the catapult so that you can actually take on the catapult. Um, yeah, so killing the workers is really important um, in that sense. Um, yeah, so that you can actually get through the uh, catapult's armor um, as it's, it's, it's not very efficient at protecting itself. All right, that's kind of what I just wanted to show off uh, in terms of going over worker repair. Um, obviously, with more workers, it's, it's less you know, strong. Um, but if you repair with about two workers, it's a, it's a buff, actually. Uh, you essentially get to repair uh, three additional HP per second which it's, it's not a lot when you think about how much HP all your units have, but if you're in a battle uh, and you want to be as efficient as you can, stick to two workers for repairing things, and that'll take care of, uh, that'll take care of that. All right, guys, thanks for sticking along and watching my patch overview. Um, see you guys in the next video. And also, leave... You know, leave something in the comments to talk about the patch if you think it's a good patch uh, or if you think this is uh, a change uh, that you think could be improved on. All right. See you guys later.